38 years after the space shuttle Challenger tragedy, the Krista McAuliffe Center at Framingham State University is honoring its namesake, educating the next generation in its newly renovated facilities. From interactive robots to a state-of-the-art planetarium, the newly renovated Krista McAuliffe Center at Framingham State University opened its doors over the weekend. The McAuliffe Center was originally created in 1994 as a way to honor the FSU graduate and the first teacher in space who died in the 1986 Space Shuttle Challenger accident. The new center is designed to serve students no matter what their career dreams may be. Krista was not a science teacher. She was a, a social studies teacher, right? So the fact that she wanted to go to space to me already speaks volumes about the idea, how she already had this idea of integration. Director Arini Poro says the center is a complete interactive learning space that includes a large exhibit hall, planetarium, and the Challenger Learning Center. We uh, provide simulation of space missions, typically for students in middle and high school, but honestly, the simulation are good for learners of all ages. Fly directors and FSU students help facilitate the space missions. The way we work is a simulation space where there's no danger, but they get the vibe of being in space. This $8 million renovation took years in the making, and the grand reopening happens to fall on the 30th anniversary of the Challenger accident. Now, her legacy of educating children to reach beyond the stars continues. After all, Chris McCullough once says, space is for everyone. Like learning what she did to a community as a teacher, yeah. I think it's a great thing. You don't always have to be an astronaut if you want to be in the space. Her work as an educator has inspired us as a planetarium and as the McAuliffe Center as a whole. Director Porro says students from across the state will be able to enjoy the center as part of their educational learning. In Framingham, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.